This test is carried out with the circuit dead or isolated. As this is an initial verification, no power will be on. But if it was an existing installation with power on, then this would have to be safely isolated. Please see the previous video on safe isolation. From the loop, the line goes to L1 of our first two-way switch. Then via the strappers that are marked by the sleeving here, it goes through the three core and earth cable to the second two-way switch. Then the common connects the strappers to the second switch. Here it returns to the first switch and when it goes through this to the strappers returns back on L2 as a switch wire. Testing a lighting circuit involving two-way or two-way and intermediate switching can be complex. First we need to remove the line and the CPC to ensure that no parallel paths can exist and give a false or inaccurate reading. A link is made between the two as shown in the video. Then at the furthest point a connection is made between the line and the CPC as shown and a reading is made. By switching at all points within the installation on this circuit polarity is proved. The reading of 1.06 ohms is recorded as the R1, R2 value. This test is carried out with the supply off. The same test can be applied to all lighting circuits whether they have two-way, two-in intermediate or even just one-way switching. When using metal conduit as a CPC, parallel paths cannot be avoided. So we can make our link directly between the line and the earth terminal as shown in the video. The connection can be made between this point and the terminal bar or between this point and the metal casing. This test can be carried out in the same manner as the lighting by testing between the line and the CPC at the circuit's extremity. A reading of 0.54 ohms can be recorded as the R1, R2 value. The same can be said for the SWA. Because the armour is being used as a CPC, parallel paths exist. So a link can be made here and the test done at the extremity between the line and the CPC. So we remove the line, place a link on the line and a link onto the CPC. We could use the earth bar too. Then the test is done at the extremity here at the isolator between the CPC and the line as shown. This giving an R1-R2 value of 0.26 ohms.